Yo, what is going on YouTube? My name is Sweat. If you guys are new and welcome back to another Apex Legends video. And in today's video, guys, this is not going to be a really formal video. I'm not going to have a laid out script for you in this video, but I am going to be just chatting with you guys. And I want it to kind of be like chill. I want it to be relaxed. I don't want this to be like all up in your face with the tips. You know what I mean? We're just kind of having a conversation. And feel free to disagree with me if you want to comment down below in the comment section at any points you might have but in today's video we're going to be discussing how to raise your kd in season 7 of apex legends with the addition of the new map olympus it can get pretty tough because a lot of people don't know the map a lot of people don't know the angles that you should be peeking and such like that so what i'm going to do is go over five tips and then we have a couple honorable mentions on how to raise your kd in season 7 of apex legends if you guys are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video at the end of course if you did enjoy and without further ado let's get into it all right so first off before we start this video and i start really talking about what uh things you really should be doing if you want a high kd in apex Legends season 7 i'm gonna say quickly that i really don't think high kd is something that you should be like boasting about if you're doing these things that i'm going to talk about in this video because it doesn't necessarily like even an average player could have a really high kd if they do some of these things that i'm going to talk about in this video so i mean it's not at all proving skill okay if a 3v3 team of people with a 1.5 or a 2.5 or a 3.5 kd come against someone with a 10 kd they could easily wipe them it just all depends on what you're doing with that kd that really matters okay so number one that we're going to talk about the first tip to get a higher kd in season seven of apex legends is going to be not landing hot okay a lot of the times i will say to land hot if you want to go for high kill games and such like that but we're going to explain this one as landing cold okay we're on the other side of the pillow we're flipping over the pillow for this one because you do not want to be landing people with people if you want a high kd okay because essentially the thing that you're doing when you are landing hot is you are leaving a lot up to rng maybe you're not getting a shield maybe you're not getting a weapon maybe you're getting a p20 while the other person has a freaking uh, r9 or a volt and a purple shield there's a lot of rng involved when you're landing hot okay somebody might have like i said better weapon better shield better everything than you and you are just in a unwinnable scenario maybe a team freaking lands on you that's another thing i'm going to talk about for just like 0.1 seconds here if you land on someone in pubs and punch them out because of their dive trails or whatever the case may be stop doing that you're a poo and then it ends with a c if you do that okay do not land on people and punch them out that is just the stupidest thing i've ever heard and i hate hate when people do that either either if it's my teammates i hate when they do that or if it's other enemies punching me out i hate when that happens so do not do that so number one is going to be definitely landing cold you do not want to land with people because of rng reasons and there's just so many things that could happen to where it could screw you over in the beginning of the game plus if you land cold and land not with a lot of people Make sure you're landing in a spot where nobody is landing and that has a lot of loot. Then you can gather up your loot. Hopefully come out with at least blue armor and a weapon that has a magazine on it so that you can absolutely dominate the competition. Okay. Number two, the second way that you're going to want to raise your KD in Season 7 is going to be playing with a three stack permanently all the time. And like I said, I do not recommend like I'm not pushing you guys to play with a three stack. This video is solely based on raising your kd i cannot stress this enough personally i do not like barely ever play pubs with a three stack and i know a lot of people are very against playing pubs with a three stack but it will over time raise your kd obviously okay let's say i'm in a game the matchmaking is absolutely botched up in apex legends we all know this let's say i'm playing as a solo and i run into a three stack okay most likely my teammates jim and larry will have 10 kills overall they're like level 10s and they don't even know how to shoot their gun straight they're probably looking at the ground looking at their toes maybe licking dandelions in the distance and then you got uh try hard number one two and three on the enemy team with 50,000 plus kills on every single person that team should win the fight 99.9% .9 of the time because my teammates are butt lickers they're not doing anything they do not know how to play the game and the matchmaking is broken so that is why you want to play as a three stack and over time if you guys are unaware on how kd works as long as you don't die in a game your kd just keeps going to the moon so just as long as you do not fully die you can go down and get res and it will not count as a 
uh, a death okay on your ratio all you have to do is make sure your teammates can clean up the kills before you fully die and that's going to lead us into our next point which is going to be fighting smart fighting with the team at all times okay once again this is solely based on kd if you're going for kd you want to stick right on your teammates cheeks okay you want if they drop the soap you want to be right there to pick it up for them okay let's let's put it that way you want to play very very close to your teammates you want to absolutely take full advantage of high ground all the times and all the time in pubs you never want to be pushing stupid fights you always want to be maximizing uh the outcome for yourself and not the other team okay if there's two teams fighting you need to make sure that there's not going to be a fourth party when you go to third party stuff like that just don't put yourself in bad situations and your kd is going to go up okay another thing to think or to uh keep in mind is that you do not want to lose a uh, teammate you don't want anybody to go down in your team at all because it's going to give the other teams a third party opportunity and if you have a teammate down it's really not going to be fair okay you're going to have a 2v3 scenario even though it is pubs so i think if you are three stacking and you do have good players on your team you will most of the time be able to come out of that situation on top anyways but just to maximize the chances that you don't die okay you do want to all try to stay up the next thing that i'm going to talk about number four tip number four is going to be never play with emotion and i know you guys are thinking you're probably like well i get uh I get really happy when I win games or stuff like that. That's not what I'm talking about at all. I'm only talking about bad, angry, sad emotions, stuff like that. Negative emotions, I would say. Because you know what happens? When you get mad at the game, when you start dying a lot and you start making mental mistakes, those mistakes are going to multiply. And I think this might be the most important tip of the video and what nobody really talks about. When you start dying often, you keep dying more and more and then personally when i do it okay i'll be playing right i'll be playing as a solo or whatever like i said i don't three stack all the time i don't use all these tips because i really don't care about my kd as much as some people do but when i start dying in solo games and i'm trying to go for game plays what, whatever it might be high kill games whatever i start landing at hot locations and when i get bad rng and i start dying I keep going to those spots and get it. I just get worse and worse and my KD is getting dug a grave. Okay, my KD is six feet under the ground by the time I'm done playing and I'll play like 10 matches where I'll do nothing at all. Those are not the games you want to have when you're going for a high KD. You absolutely want to get offline once you start playing with emotion. Once you start getting mad at the game, call it i'm done for the day guys and when your squad starts struggling that's when you know you need to get off for the day because your kd will absolutely plummet and trust me if you do get off right when you start struggling your kd is going to stay up there because the next day that you get on you're going to be high on emotions you're going to be very happy again wanting to play the game and there goes your kd skyrocketing again number five is going to be warming your hands up before you play okay not a lot of people talk about this and if you if you like don't live in places with cold weather this shouldn't be a problem for you but when i come inside i live in the on the east coast uh northeast it gets really freaking cold out in the winter time so when i walk inside my hands are like ice cubes okay what i recommend doing is, it sounds stupid it's gonna sound really stupid either washing your hands with very warm water or sitting on your hands for about five minutes before you play you want your hands kind of clammy as stupid as that sounds you want your hands kind of clammy and sweaty before you play because you're just going to be more fluid with your motions if if you're all stiff and cold you're not going to be playing good your movement's not going to be on point and your aim's not going to be on point that is a fact and to end the video off today we're going to have some honorable mentions here and they are going to include playing legends you are comfortable with. I've talked about this many times in the past. If you are good with Pathfinder, keep playing Pathfinder. If you know his movements, keep playing him. If you're good with Wraith, whatever legend you are good with, keep playing those legends all around, all across the season because that is going to raise your KD the most. Next is going to be playing your life if necessary. If your teammates end up do die, uh, do end up dying, which shouldn't happen if you're three stacking, by the way. But if that does end up happening, make sure to just get out, get their banners, get them up somewhere safe, and then reset the com reset. Okay, get all new loot, and you guys should win every single time. All right, if necessary, I'm saying don't leave your teammates if like one guy goes down. Don't just dip across the map. But if two of your teammates are dead and it's like a one v three scenario, save your life. This is gonna help your KD a lot. And last but not least, do not ego challenge if you have a health disadvantage. 
I do this a lot personally, and I know a lot of other people do this, YouTubers, Twitch streamers, whatever it may be. You see them ego challenging with less health and surviving some of the time, but most times, if you are a normal player, you're not going to survive these engagements, okay? Unless you hit every single shot when you peek out, when you have the health disadvantage. So make sure to always have the advantage in any possible scenario, okay? Like I said earlier, positioning advantage, health advantage, third party advantage, whatever you got to do, make sure you have the advantage in scenarios and you will raise your KD. It's been Sweat, guys. I will catch you in the next video. Drop a like if you enjoyed, sub if you're new. Peace out.